Guess when? The 16th of June. Tomorrow. Right. The day after today. Well, whether that was pure chance, or whether there'd be communication, I don't know. So I said, well, can it be put in that we can't do it before then? Who oh, no, the magistrate court are very, very busy. But it's not surprising they're very, very busy. Well, I'm going to go Anyway, so I am due. I have an appointment in Manchester Magistrate Court tomorrow to lay the information against the Chief Superintendent, not against the others. And then I've been, I'm pretending to be completely, uh, complete, uh, almost new completely, you know what I mean? But, you know, not that they, they're not supposed to know anything more this bill of I've gone there purely, out of district, a stranger. Anyway, so I will be going there tomorrow. So I don't know whether you, any of you are able to come or would like to come, then please do. But uh, we shall see. Okay, the likelihood of that being, of there's somebody missing you there, is most unlikely. But I ought to go. Make a noose. <laughs> and go outside. Magistrate go down there and put him a chant. We want Danton. We want Danton. We want Danton. I don't mean it because I'm not a man of the world. You wouldn't stop anyone else doing it, though, would you? <laughs> well, I can buy the buy the rope. I can supply the rope. Yes. <laughs> Three years after that, I had to pack up full-time work to become a full-time carer. Now, yeah. that's my tale of work. Now, I'll be one of the ignorant people we, we've just mentioned, because if I'd have been carrying on working, my wife had to die, I'd have been like everybody else, and I would not have known. It's up to us in this room to feed things out to people and wake yeah. people up. Yeah. So we can't dumb them all down because they don't know. They don't know because they're wrapped up in X Factor and all the rest of it, going out of pub and... You don't know what's going on. You know, you just need to enlighten them. Now, if my situation hadn't have changed all those years ago, I'd have been just the same as the rest of them. Well, until the age of 70, I believe that Mickey Judges were the finest in the world. Because that's what I've been told all my life. That's right. I was as daft as anybody. Until then.